uh, listen to Strudwick and Jack again for um, our next PE daily challenge. Uh, this one's called Jim Dice. <laughs> not as in Jim. <laughs> not Jim, not Jim. No, but gymnastics. Gymnastic dice. Um, uh, the idea is that you collect a six sided dice. Um, I'm going to allocate a different gym position to each number. You roll the dice and you have to hold that position uh, for as long as you possibly can, depending on obviously what number comes up. If you don't have a dice at home, you could use um, an online dice. So I've got my phone ready to do that because we don't have a dice to hand. Uh, there are six positions, obviously, because there are, um, your dice should have um, six numbers one to six on it. Um, so if you roll number one, that's a front support. Number two is a back support. Number three is a dish hold. Number four is an arch hold. Number five is a one-footed balance. Um, for those dancers amongst you, you might know that as an arabesque. And for number six, you've got the half lever, which is a difficult one. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute and how you can extend that. Uh, but anyway, um, Jack is going to demonstrate the um, different gymnastic positions. So I will roll my online dice Great. and see which number we get. First one, I reckon it's number four. Number three. Oh. Number three, Jack. Number three. Which was a dish hold. So this one, uh, we'll start with sitting positions. Quite um, good for your core stability here, good for your tummy muscles. Fantastic, try and point your toes, Jack. So you raise your feet off the floor, ankles together, nice straight arms. Okay, normally we count three to five seconds. So one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. Brilliant, Jack, that's a really tough one. As I say, um, at home you could do three to five seconds like we would do in school. Um, ideally, you try and push it for as long as you can. Okay, next one. Right, this one's gonna be number four. It is indeed, Jack. Number four, I like it. Okay, so we've got an arch hold. So, um, like a dish hold, but in reverse, really. So you're on your tummy, start off with. Uh, arms need to be raised off the floor nice and straight, and uh, legs raised off the floor as well. Feet and ankles together. See how long you can hold it for. Let's count to five seconds for Jack. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. Brilliant, Jack, well done. Okay, roll again. Number six, I reckon. Number five. Ooh, this time, Jack. Five. Okay, so um, dice showed number five. So one foot of balance or arabesque. Arabesque. So we start on um, one foot. I, I suggest obviously your preferred foot. Um, for me, it'll be my right foot. Jack is going to probably have to go over his right as well. Um, now uh, your back, as you bend over, should be nice and straight, ideally, with your leg. Um, sort of level with your back. So if you imagine sort of a ruler down your back and leg, there shouldn't be any gaps between your body and the ruler. Um, arms out to the side to try and um, aid your balance. If you want to try, this is a difficult one, if you try and focus on one point in front of you and just look solely at that, that can also help you uh, to stay upright. So um, Jack's going to have a go and obviously we'll try and hold it for three to five seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Yeah, well done, that's good, Jack. Okay, let's roll again. And we've got number one. Number one. So, number one, front support. So, this one looks a bit like a press up, but without actually going down into the, um, into the press up itself. So, again, nice straight back, straight legs. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Good. Okay, we'll roll again. Uh, oh, number six. number six. Half lever. Half lever. Half lever. So, half lever, we start in a um, sitting position. But the idea is you're going to raise your um, bottom off the floor and one of your legs so that the only points of contact with the floor are your two hands and one heel. So, that's three points of contact. So that's a good example. Jack, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. Lovely. So that's a half lever. So again, I'm hoping that you would know this at home, a full lever. If you want to have a go at that, that's really tough. Um, a full lever would be two points of contact with the floor. So it'd be just your hands. So you're raising your bottom off the floor as well as both of your legs. Ideally, you try and keep feet and ankles together, toes pointing out in front of you. But as I say, that one's a really tough one, but give it a go, why not? 
Okay, let's roll once more. Number two. Number two. Number two is a back support. So similar to a front support, but just flipped around. So we start again in our sitting position, just like that. We're gonna have four points of contact with the floor, your heels, your two hands, and that's it, like your jack, heels together. The idea is that you raise your, um, you raise your bottom really off the floor. Again, think of rulers, you lay a ruler down Jack's body, you would hope that there'd be no gap, so your body should be nice and straight. You can raise your bottom, you can learn Jack, and it's tough, well done. Okay, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000. Fantastic, Jack. Well done, okay. So, have a go at those at home. Good luck.